three, two, one, and action. Yo, what is up, Travels with Buddy Nation? Today is Saturday, February the 13th, and it is a cold day today. It's got to be in the single digits out there, but it is sunny, so hopefully it'll, it'll warm up a little bit later in the afternoon, and maybe I'll take Bud for a walk later in the afternoon. Right, Bud? Oh, he's grumpy. He hasn't been out for a walk in a couple of days and he gets irritated. I mean, I take him out in the backyard to do his business, but you know, that's not like going for a walk, huh? But, <laughs> but maybe today I'll take him out. Um, but, anyways, for t- uh, exercise today, I'm going to do a one arm dumbbell curl. Now, I did the alternate dumbbell curls before with dumbbells, uh, but the one arm dumbbell curl is, is totally different and it, it looks similar, but it's, it's really not. It's, it's much more intense, it's much more, uh, it, fo- it focuses on your biceps more. It's more of an isolation type of exercise because when you're doing one arm at a time, you're just, you're just working on that bicep, you got your elbows, keep your elbows close to the sides of your body, you keep your wrist uh, pointed straight out with your palms pointed straight out and you just curl the weight up while you're keeping your elbows close to your body it really isolates the bicep whereas when you're doing the dumbbell uh, alternate dumbbell curl you kind of twist your wrist as you're bringing the weight up and you and you do one arm at a time so while you're curling one arm the other arm is resting and uh, and when you're using t- t- uh, when you have a dumbbell in each hand it, it's not, it, it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't isolate the, the bicep to the same degree. And if, if, if you try the one arm dumbbell curl and compare it to the, the alternate dumbbell curl, you'll see what I mean. It, it, it's a slightly different feel. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, like I say, it focuses on the biceps more. It really hits the biceps. Um, it really targets the bicep. Where the alternate curl, it really it, it focuses your your whole arm because you're you're turning your wrist. It hits the forearm. It, it hits a lot of shoulder. Um, the, when you do the one arm dumbbell curl the way that I'm going to demonstrate it, it really it really isolates that bicep. So without further ado, I will demonstrate that exercise. And Bud, you can spot me from the other room. And if you're good, we'll maybe we'll go for a walk today, right? But I'm going to have to put a jacket on or something because it is cold out there today. And the other thing is, there's a lot of rock salt on the, on the sidewalk. So I really don't like to take them walking too much when it's, uh, when it's cold like this. All right? Uh, so without further ado, I will demonstrate the one-arm dumbbell curl. And I'll start off with my right hand. It's a little more rested. Um, if it was warmer out, I'd be wearing a short sleeve shirt so I can show my biceps, but it's cold, so I want to be warm, especially my first set. So basically, I'm going to keep my elbow close to my body, tight, keep, keep the elbow close to your body tight, and I'm going to try for about maybe 15 repetitions. What a burn. Really felt that in my biceps. And this, if you notice, I keep my wrist and my palm spacing outward. It really keeps the tension on the bicep. So now I'm gonna try the, I got 15 reps. I'm gonna try to get 15 with this arm.
burn in my bicep. As you can see, keep my wrist facing forward, pull the weight up to the front part of my shoulder. Try to keep my elbow as close to my side as possible. And by doing that, it really isolates the bicep. And I try to keep my elbows as low as possible, but it, uh, during a few of the repetitions, especially the, a few of the, the last ones, I might have to rock my elbows up a little bit just to get that, that momentum going to uh, curl the weight up. But it's a really good exercise. I feel a really good burn in my biceps and it's one you gotta try. And like I say, it, it, it feels uh, slightly different than doing the, the alternate dumbbell curl when you're twisting your wrist as you're bringing the weight up. And for one reason is you don't have that rest in between repetitions, you know, when you alternate the, the curl. And when you keep your, your, your palms facing forward and you got your elbows really close tight to the side of your body, by doing that, it really isolates that bicep. So that's the key to doing the one arm, uh, single arm dumbbell curl on the, on the bicep. It's a really good effective exercise for developing muscle tone in your biceps and building up bicep strength. It really isolates those biceps really well. So again, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, keep training, try doing the, the single arm dumbbell curl. Give it a try, see if, how it works for you. And uh, remember to take those walks, keep exercising, and have an awesome day. All right, everybody, peace out. Peace.